You're about to watch the most comprehensive tutorial on order books in the most popular cryptocurrency exchanges like Coinbase, Binance, and Kraken. So without further ado, let's go. So you might be looking at this and saying to yourself, okay, now I realize why everyone on Wall Street takes a bunch of drugs. When you're staring at these charts, this looks very intimidating and they change rather quickly. And a lot of people have a question, which is quite simple. What the heck is an order book? If you're on any crypto exchange and you're using the advanced option, then you are seeing an order book, you're seeing a trade history, you're seeing a spread right here. And a lot of times it's really helpful, even if you don't utilize this, to understand exactly what it is. So that way you can choose to use it or you can just understand what the heck is happening on your screen. So very, very simply, what is an order book? So it's basically a dynamic list that shows buy and sell orders for a specific cryptocurrency. So everything you're seeing over here that's in green is buyers that are wanting to buy at a specific price. And everything that you're seeing over here in red is sellers that are willing to sell, but only for a certain price. And this type of only for a certain price conditional on your order is typically referred to as a limit order. Market orders don't really get shown in the order book and we'll cover that later. But what I wanna point out is that it's just the list of buy and sell orders for a specific cryptocurrency organized by the price level. Now, how is it organized by price level? Well, it's trying to bridge the gap between the seller that is willing to sell something for the lowest price and the buyer that is willing to buy something for the highest price, but still they don't quite match because there's a spread. So let's discuss how that works. So again, think of the order book as a real time marketplace chart. It includes buy orders. These are bids. So again, these are offers from buyers who want to purchase the crypto at a specific price. So currently we're looking at the XRP USD pair. So in this part of the chart, it's going to show all of the buyers that are willing to buy XRP for this price right here. And on this side, we're looking at all of the people that are willing to sell, but for this price right here. Now, sell orders are called asks. So these are the asks and these are the bids. Bids are green, asks are red. Now, when there is a match made, then it gets removed from the order book and the order is executed. So the book continuously updates as new orders come in and existing orders are fulfilled or canceled. You can have an order in here and if it disappears, it doesn't mean it was fulfilled. It could also be because the person that put it in decided to withdraw it. Something that I wanna point out is market orders, which execute immediately at the best available price in the order book. And these are the orders right here where you could just put market, buy as much as you want and basically the system will figure out what the current price is and who's willing to sell it to you at the best price and it will go ahead and purchase those these execute immediately at the best available price in the order book and thus they don't show up in the order book only limit orders tend to show up now, Coinbase does an interesting thing here where you see if I'm taking my pointer and I'm bringing it down, it's actually showing us the average price, the total sum of the XRP and the total sum of US dollars. And the same thing if I go to the red side, which is people willing to sell or the ask side, you can see the same thing. There's an average price, there's the sum of XRP, and there's the sum in USD. And if you see these levels right here of red and green bopping up and down, that actually denotes volume. We'll speak about volume in a second, but I wanna point out here the USD spread. So what exactly is the spread? It's the difference between the highest price buyers are willing to pay, which is the bid and will appear as the first number here, because remember, all of the subsequent numbers, those aren't the highest bids. Those are gonna be lower and lower because buyers wanna pay 
as few dollars as possible for an XRP, right? That's the whole point of putting a limit order in. Same thing for sell order. This is going to be the lowest price sellers are willing to accept. This is their asking price. As you go up on the actual list, the price is going to go higher and higher. Why? Because when you're selling something, you want to make the most amount of money. Something to point out, a smaller spread indicates a more liquid market. So what does that mean? Because there's so much activity and so many people trading nonstop over here, the spread is going to be quite small because some people are not looking for the greatest deal. They just want to buy or they just want to sell. And there's so many that you're going to be able to match them up with a buyer or seller. And then you're not going to have tons of orders in the order book. Now, if this was an illiquid market, it means that there's not many buyers and sellers willing to participate. And I can actually show you an illiquid market and you'll see that this does not move quickly at all or change because not as many trades are taking place and probably the spread is going to be quite expensive. So take a look here. What I'll do is I'll click on the pairings and I'm on Coinbase Advanced. And if over here we select spot, you will see that if you scroll down the list, you will see that it is organized by volume. And if we scroll down to a crypto pair that has very low volume, it means that it's probably an illiquid market at the moment and it is not very easy to buy or sell for a great price and there's going to be quite a spread. So I'll show that to you right here. If we take a look at, let's say, Dash and BTC, you will see over here it's not moving as quickly, right? The trade history is not updating as quickly. You can see over here that these numbers are not moving as quickly. And if you look at it percentage wise, the actual spread is probably going to be a bit expensive if you're going to go ahead and make the trade. So now we're going to go back to the XRP chart. And now I want to explain to you why the order book is so important. The first reason is transparency. It's showing you the current demand and supply. It's an open book. And by the way, different crypto exchanges are not going to have the same order book. That's why you do want to trade on a platform that's quite busy because then you'll probably be getting better deals. It also helps you to decide when and at what price to place orders. Uh, there's indications of market sentiment through order volume and price movement. So you can see the volume behind all of these different limit orders. And it also gives you a little bit of insights into liquidity. So a deep order book, and this is one that has many orders at various price levels, such as Coinbase at the moment for XRP USD, you could see that implies that there's high market liquidity at the moment. Now, I don't want to get too advanced with this video, but one of the ways to use the order book is to avoid slippage. So that is a way to estimate the potential slippage when placing really large market orders, making sure that you're not going to get screwed because it's going to keep going down the list and it's going to give you a price that you might not be too happy with. Also, you can use an order book to identify trends. So if there's sudden changes in order volumes at specific prices, this can definitely signal market shifts. So I also want to give you a little bit of insight into how the spread is used. So again, the spread is just the difference between the highest price a buyer is willing to pay, which is the bid, and the lowest price a seller is willing to accept, which is an ask in any market. In this case, the market is the XRP USD pair. So why does this matter? Because the smaller the spread, the closer the buyers and sellers are in potential agreement, which means it's a lot easier to trade. Now, the bigger the spread, the harder it might be to trade and it could cost you more. So again, in a crypto market, the spread shows you how much buyers and sellers differ in their price expectations. It can also indicate whether it's a liquid market or an illiquid market. Generally, a small spread often means there's high trading activity, while a large spread suggests lower activity or volatility. And when I say spread, that's obviously relative to the actual percentage of the price itself. Now, as a buyer, seller or trader, let me tell you the importance of this order book. So for a buyer, this is important because if you're staring at the order book, you can see that the maximum bid that's right here. So it's going to be the number that you see near where it indicates spread. 
This tells you that if you want to outbid others, then you need to put in an order that is above that. And also, if you look at the lowest ask, that shows you the price at which you can buy this crypto immediately. So if you take a look at the asking price that's closest to the spread, this is where you can go ahead and just buy it immediately. This would make it a market order. Now for sellers, the same thing applies. So the lowest ask over here, if you're trying to sell and sell quickly, but still have a good deal, you can offer something better that closely matches this number here, which is the highest bid. Also, you could look at the highest bid and that shows you the price at which you can sell instantly. Again, that would be a market order and it would disappear from the order book. Now for traders, the spread affects the trading cost. So a wider spread increases the cost of trading since buyers pay more and sellers receive less. So let me know if this helped you understand what the order book is, why it has different colors, why it changes so quickly or why it changes so slowly. And if you want me to cover any more concepts when it comes to crypto, I'd be more than happy to do it. I am thinking of doing a deep dive explaining all the things that you could do with the chart to help you be a better trader and to visualize the actual trading story a little bit better. And I will also probably make some updated tutorials because they did really well on how to use limit orders and stop limit orders on Coinbase. Appreciate you lots. Don't just keep an eye on your crypto portfolio. Keep an eye on your mental health and I wish you a really green days ahead.